Good morning. It's another cold, snowy day. It is supposed to let up though, so we're going to go and get ready to start our day and head out to my local Dollar Tree. Okay, we are here. Let's go on in and see what we can find this week because I feel like we've seen all of the Valentine's Day items that we're going to see. I just feel like my store has put everything that they have in stock out onto the floor um, as far as Valentine's Day items go. So let's go on in and see what we can find new this week. Perhaps I was wrong about the Valentine's Day items because I did spot a few new items. Look at these glitter hearts. This is a five piece and they come in several different sizes. And I did spot a new sign here. And we have some new tabletop decor signs in the Valentine's Day section as well. And I think these would be great in a teen or tween's room just for some cute little Valentine's Day decor. And look at these hearts. So these are supposed to be like the uh, candy hearts here. And I think these are so cute, especially for a shelf or a tear tray of some sort. I'm really loving all of the color combinations there. The green one though is my favorite. All right, and we do have this 110 piece glitter vase filler. That's always a super popular DIY item. In the Valentine's Day gift section, I came across these heart-shaped beauty blenders and they came in blue and pink. I spotted this Be Pure Floral Lip Gloss and I thought it was really pretty. There's actually a piece of flower inside the lip gloss and I just thought it was really pretty. It would be a great Valentine's Day gift for a teen or tween girl. Here we have the Fuzzy Friends plushies. Some of these are a two pack. So if you have multiple children, you could buy one and divide them each up so they each get their own plushie and you only paid $1.25 for two. All right, as Dollar Tree is starting to sell down on their Valentine's Day items, they're replacing it with Easter items. And I found this um, eight piece outdoor fun egg, egg shaped chalk. So um, be on the lookout for new Easter items as the Valentine's Day items sell down. So I'm just scanning through all of the Valentine's Day candy here. Um, these four packs of Smarties are really great. Again, if you have multiple children, you can break these packs up so they each have their own pack. And again, you only spent $1.25 on four packs of Smarties. Okay, and moving on, we are in the Valentine's Day crafting section and I came across these adorable little flower pots with bears on top. In the Easter crafts, they brought back the felt bunny garland. I absolutely love that garland. I do have one and put it on my mantle. I think I've had it for the last two years. This is a carrot wreath form. I used it as is as a decor piece and it looked really chic. All right, and if you do any kind of spring crafting, Dollar Tree has all of their spring florals in. I mean, just look at this floral section. You can do a lot of fun, brightly colored um, floral arrangements with this for spring. I had to share how neat and organized this gift wrapping section was. I think we can all appreciate an organized gift wrapping section at Dollar Tree. Okay, so in the toy section, I came across these um, turbo wheels, um, car sets they are for ages three and up so they had like an auto repair shop they had a car wash and they even have the turbo wheels cars that you can purchase um but i did spot matchbox cars as well now these waggles are for ages two and up they've been showing up at our dollar trees the last within the last couple of months but you can build a playground for them and i thought that was super cool 
and a great gift to put in a little one's um, Easter basket. These Ushis, they're kind of like little blind bags. Um, you can collect them, but I had to show you because look how adorable this is. They are so cute and you can collect each one. Another great Easter basket filler along with these Disney Junior activity sets. So you get the markers, the stickers, and the little activity book. These are so cute. These would also be great for a rainy or cold wintry day. These toys are really inexpensive. Just pick a few up and keep them stashed away for a rainy day. We see these yogurt cups every year around this time and they are really great to take to work with you. I actually use these. They come with a spoon on the inside of the lid so you have everything when you're ready to eat your snack. All right, in the craft aisle, I'm just scanning through to see if they have anything new. I really like these Dollar Tree um, finger protectors. So if you're working with hot glue, these will help protect your fingers so you don't burn yourself. I actually did burn myself with hot glue because I was not wearing my finger protectors. Okay, I did find some new wooden shapes. These are a 40 packs. So we have some leaves, some butterflies, and some hearts. And you guys, this heart pack was 100 pieces. So you can paint them, you can stain them, and you add them to your DIYs. I'm just scanning through so you can appreciate how many wooden craft pieces Dollar Tree has. They have a lot of the trucks and these are always a popular piece, but if you don't use them now, stash them away because you may find a use for them in the future. For the last couple of months, we've been seeing these birch and vine baskets. And let me tell you, I spotted some new ones. They are very chic. Look at this basket with the gold flex. How chic is that? All right, I also spotted this 10 pack of wooden stickers. I thought these would be really great for junk journaling because they have like the little conversation clouds and I just thought the texture would be really cool. I also came across these Crafter Square DIY crochet kits. They had four different ones to choose from and this would be a great rainy day project for you to do with the kids. Look how adorable these are. Here are a couple of new picture frames. They fit six by four and they are really high end looking. They came in gold and black. These canvas wall art pieces catch my eye every time I walk by because they have these like shimmery rhinestones on them. I think they are really pretty. I showed you these two last week, but I just can't help looking at them again. I think they're really pretty. And I'm just scanning through the sticker section just to see what they have. I like to use stickers in my um, planner decorating and junk journals. Look at these. So these are jewel border stickers. They would be really great for a junk journal. And they came in silver and gold. These stickers right here are also really great to add textures to your junk journal spreads as well. And in the stationery section, I came across these coloring books and they had a lot of them to choose from. When shopping at Dollar Tree, be sure to check out the children's books, especially if you like to read to your child or you know a child that enjoys being read to, check out the book section. They also have a lot of coloring books and activity books for kids as well. Another great rainy day activity. And then look at this, in the stationery section or in with all of the school supplies, I found this Disney princess um, spiral notebook book it had 50 sheets and I also found this mini mouse one as well these are great to send to school with your child all right in the book section I came across these inspirational journals they are just lined on the inside with like little shadow um, graphics 
but these make great gifts to give to coworkers or um, even as a get well gift and they always have really pretty covers. I am always amazed at the selection of hair accessories at Dollar Tree. They just have so much and I did spot a few new items. This hair clip is really pretty and look at this one too. I like anything that is sparkly. All right, and here we have some hair scrunchies here. And in the makeup aisle, I spotted a couple of new face masks. So these are real veggie farm uh, face masks and avocado and carrot. My daughter would absolutely love these. She loves anything that has to do with skincare. She's really into trying out all of these products. Just be careful if you do, if you have sensitive skin, just test a small area first. Okay, I've noticed these power light um, drinks. These are electrolyte drinks. Those are new. And I showed you this um, Clean Beauty blush and lip color. Uh, this red was super bright. It looks darker in on camera than it does in person. It was super bright. All right, and I'm just scanning through the makeup here just to see if there is anything new. Um, I didn't spot anything new um, hanging on the um, on the makeup wall here. I use these contour sticks though. They work really well. I do like them. They definitely um, do define your features like it says. Um, and you guys, it only costs $1.25. However, I have never used the LA Colors um, mascara. They have several different formulas, but I have never tried any of them. If you have tried them, let us know which one you've tried and what you think about them in the comments below. I did find this Alme makeup. It looks like it's um, either a um, contour or a foundation that can be used as a contour. It didn't really say, it just said that it was makeup. This is a great find because we all know it's gonna cost more than $1.25 any place else. So I spotted the Guru Nanda Ultimate 2-in-1 Floss Picks. You guys, these cost way more than $1.25 at Walmart. They cost $9.12, so you guys, that's a $7.87 savings. Check out these two-in-one invisible light pens. How cool are those? The kids are gonna love these. They're another great Easter basket filler or pick one up for a stocking stuffer. All right, if you have a sweet tooth, check out Dollar Tree because they have a huge selection of candy. Just look at all of this candy, you guys. My favorite candies are anything that is blue raspberry. And let me tell you, Dollar Tree has a lot to choose from in the blue raspberry flavor. Just look at all of these items here. They have the blue raspberry sour patch kids and they even have the blue raspberry warheads cubes. Sometimes I crave a, um, just like a sour candy and blue raspberry is kind of a sour flavor. All right, I did spot this General Mills Monster Mash Mix cereal. And anytime you spot a name brand cereal at Dollar Tree, scoop it up because it's a steal of a deal. All right, we found this uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch Cinna Dust. It is a seasoning blend, great for uh, French toast. I also came across these twisted noodles in chicken and beef, and they also had some chicken ramen in the microwavable little cups as well. It was a three pack. Okay, I found some new dishes at Dollar Tree, at least they're new to me. They have like a gold trim around the edge and I thought they were really chic looking. So they had the teacup or like the little coffee mug. They had the small um, dessert plate and they had the larger dinner plate as well but i didn't see any of the bowls i was searching and i did not see any so hopefully i will find those soon okay i just have to tell you guys that i had to turn 
the sound off on a majority of these clips because when I walked into the store, they were playing music so loud at the front of the store. But you could hear it in the back of the store as well. All right, I did find these um, spoons here. They are a 52 count. They had forks and knives as well, but I like to use the plastic spoons to put in the kids' lunches. Look at these soup mugs. I I have one of these and they are really great. I can just pop my little container into the microwave at work and make some soup. But if you are making soup at home, here we have these um, ceramic, these are like heavy duty soup mugs and I'm really liking them. They came in black, red, and white. And here we have lots of different soups to choose from and it is soup weather for sure. All right, in the household cleaning products, I'm just sharing with you all of my favorites here. I do like to use these, um, these reusable gloves when I mop my floors. I scrub my floors on my hands and knees, so they come in handy. And I also use the uh, Fabuloso as well. Um, but if you can find the larger container, purchase that because of course you want to get more for your money so always purchase the larger um, container when shopping at Dollar Tree but any of these fabuloso or spick and span work really great on your floors Lime Away is another product that I purchased religiously from Dollar Tree. Um, it works really well and cleans your toilet really good. So um, I would say if you're gonna buy a cleaning product from Dollar Tree, this is it because it works great. I also use the Comet All Purpose Cleaner. Um, I use that in my bathroom. They do have the kitchen cleaner as well. So I do purchase that for my kitchen. But if, um, if Dollar Tree does not have the bath cleaner, then I will go ahead and use that multi-purpose cleaner. But I always look for the bath cleaner first. They just don't always have it. The Comet and Ajax scrubs, like the powder scrubs, are less expensive at Walmart. So I would say don't buy these from Dollar Tree um, just because there's a few cents savings there. And in the kitchen utensils and kitchen tools, I found these new um, silverware sets. So you get six each. So they came in, um, they have like soup spoons, the teaspoons, forks, and knives. Okay, here is all of the um, St. Patrick's Day items. I'm hoping they put more out, but I'm not so sure that they're going to but in the garden section, I came across all of this little garden decor. These frogs were my favorite. They are adorable and they had a couple to choose from. So they have the one that's sitting up, the little frog that's laying down. How cute are these? You could put these in a potted plant or um, in your windowsill. And you guys, these seeds really do work. I purchased um, a bunch a few years back and they they did grow and they worked really well. So um, if you are planning on doing a garden this year, run to Dollar Tree because they have seeds for, for a dollar. Okay, you know I'm at the front of the store when I share the knickknack rounder with you. I just always check this before I leave the store because I always find lots of high-end decor pieces on this rounder. Um, so I'm always looking just to make sure I didn't miss anything, but they did not have anything new this week. All right, you guys, I'm headed to the checkout. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a video.